In this video, we're going to be taking a close look at a platform called Sutori. If you're not familiar with that, it's a versatile multimedia tool that can be used for teachers to design instruction, as well as a collaborative tool for students to create artifacts of learning and work on projects together. So we're going to start by taking a look at what Sutori actually is and how it functions, and then talk a little bit about why you would use that in the classroom. At that point, we'll transition to a live demo of how to use some of the templates and how to build one from scratch in your classroom. My name is Tom Driscoll of EdTech Teacher. Let's get started. Let's start out with what Sutori actually is. But first, if you find this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our EdTech Teacher channel. Once you subscribe, click that notification bell and you'll be able to get all of the updated content and tutorials that we have coming out. Now let's jump right into the platform and take a closer look. So start by going directly to Satori.com. So once you're there, you have a few different resources that you can check out as far as instructional videos and some templates. But long story short, this is a platform that enables teachers to design digital lessons and experience for their students, um, as well as a way for students to use this as a collaborative platform to bring together different types of artifacts of media, text, video, audio, um, a lot of different options here. So probably the best way to um, experience this at first is to explore some of the templates. We're gonna get into that in a second. Uh, but now they have a better idea of what it is, the bigger question is why would you use this in your classroom? There's a lot of creation tools out there. So as we're gonna go over in a second, one of the best um, advantages of using a, a tool like this is that it curates and brings a lot of different content and activities together. Um, one example is, for instance, if you want students to experience some instructional content through video, through text, through audio, but also embed some assessments in there, maybe pull in from some other apps, it can all be done in one seamless story on the Sutori platform. The other thing that I like is that it embeds directly many of the apps that are commonly used in education. So for instance, Quizlet or Padlet, instead of them having to click on a link and going out to those other websites, you actually bring those into Sutori and it all kind of works in one screen essentially. Um, so again, the ability to create as a teacher, to create as a student, to collaborate with each other, but also bringing all of this into a cohesive experience that doesn't shoot kids out to all different websites, keeps things simple. I think that's one of the main values of Sutori and why so many teachers around the world are starting to use it. Now, if you wanna check out some of the templates, they have a few different guides towards the bottom here. For instance, if you check out this history, geography, and social studies collection, you'll see here's an example on the Aztec, uh, Inca, and Maya empires. As you scroll down, you see that there's some historical information embedded, uh, some websites, imagery, maps. Um, as you scroll down, there's other types of media such as video content. Um, if you see here too on the bottom right, they have embedded Quizlets. I'm gonna go uh, over how to actually do all of that, but this gives you a little bit more of a visual of what an actual Sutori lesson that's teacher or student created would look like. Now, all of the features that I'm gonna share with you today, anybody can access right away. Um, so I do wanna take a second to talk a little bit about the logistics and, and the pricing of it because that question does come up. Like most ed tech platforms, you have access to use some of the tools for free. Uh, it's the freemium model. If you want access to all of the features that I'm gonna demonstrate here, there is an unlimited plan. Now, if you click here for pricing, it gives you a little bit more context here. Essentially, everybody starts out and gets the unlimited version for free. You have that for a month to kick the tires on it, see if you like it. Um, even if you don't do the unlimited, you still have access to the Sutori Essentials. If you say, hey, this is a great tool and I want to use it, uh, the Sutori Unlimited information is here. Also, if you check the video description, there is a discount code to get a uh, percentage of uh, the registration for free. Uh, so please check that out in the show notes below. All right, so how do you actually create one of these? I'm gonna walk us through how to build out a lesson from scratch. I'm gonna start with a sample that I've created for this tutorial, and then I'll show you how you would add all of the features that I did live in this tutorial. Okay, so this one is about a student guide to misinformation and disinformation. So uh, for instance, if you were to teach a topic like this, this is where you can start by creating a Satori lesson and build in multiple pieces of content, activities, modules, etc. All right, so as you go down, you'll see I have some text here about what misinformation is, as well as a comment. I've uh, embedded a PDF into this as well. Then I have a link out to a, an interactive uh, checkology.org lesson by the News Literacy Project. A shout out to them, they have a lot of excellent resources. 
Then if students were going through this in more of a, um, a self-paced mode or if they were doing this as a station, this is where they would just jump in and be able to do a Quizlet set right within here, right? So they don't have to go out to Quizlet. I basically took my Quizlet flashcards, I put them right into the Sutori, and then students can even choose what mode they want. So it's not just the regular flashcodes. If they want to do the, the match or the learn version, uh, they can do that as well. As you scroll down, you'll see that it has a, a few more modules that I embedded in. This one's really uh, cool. If you use Flipgrid, there's a way that you can actually embed the Flipgrid itself within the Sutori. So students can just jump in. Uh, they can watch a video. That's a media uh, at artifact for that Flipgrid. They can watch it, and then they can add their response right away, um, right within the Sutori. There's a discussion forum where teachers and students can go back and forth and have a threaded discussion. Uh, and then at the end, I also show how you can embed some videos and some ed puzzles because I know ed puzzle is another favorite of teachers. I think is a very versatile tool. So I can even embed a video. This is for instance an evaluating evidence video from Crash Course and it actually has the questions embedded within the video right within the tutorial. So this is what I mean about trying to keep everything in one spot. Uh, towards the bottom, I have a Padlet on how to combat dis uh, disinformation. And then finally, as a wrap up to the activity along with that Padlet, um, there's a Kahoot game that they can then click on and then uh, do that Kahoot as a final option. So there are other uh, modules that you can add into this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you could go in and edit this to add even more. Okay, so say for instance, at this point, I wanted to add some more features, maybe an assessment. If I click on the plus button, this is where you have all of the different options. So the ones that I've already showed you that I added in were the image, the video, uh, the links. It's really easy to do. You just click the link button and you're gonna see all of the different tools that integrate really seamlessly with it. You just paste the link in there, you're good. If you wanted to find some stock imagery, you can click here. So if I just looked up civics, for instance, you have a bunch of stock photos that you can add in. Um, if you have something from your device you're adding in, you can upload that as well as something from YouTube. Another nice feature here is that voice recorder, the fact that you can add in some audio instructions or tips or hints or mini lessons uh, just using your voice because we know that adding that as a modality is really helpful as well. Also keep in mind, students can do this too. So if you want your students to go in and build out this type of content as part of a project, uh, that's certainly something that is possible. Okay, a couple other options that I didn't display here if you wanted to add in some multiple choice or matching quizzes, they actually have a native quiz tool, right? So think of something like a Google Form, for instance, that has the uh, graded quizzes. If you go in, you can build this out. You can add your suggested answers. It can be multiple choice. You choose what the correct answer was. You can also customize your uh, answer explanations. So a lot of options here. And then with that uh, Sutori Unlimited program, you can actually go in and see the student analytics, see how they did um, on those different embedded assessments within your story. All right, once you have your story completed, there's a few ways to share this out. Uh, so if you click the share button, there is a way that you can invite folks individually, but the easiest way is probably to just do it through your learning management system. So clicking on Google Classroom or through Microsoft Teams. Um, the other way you could do it is just share the link itself. Like say you have some a different platform, if you just have a class website, you can choose that. Just keep in mind, this is kind of like a Google Doc or Microsoft Docs where you have to be um, cognizant of the share settings. So if I share this out with students, I want them to be able to view it and access those different activities. If I want them to actually create this, like say I'm sharing out a template and I want them to um, edit it, that would be the edit and comment. Um, if you want students to be able to do those discussions and comment on the things within uh, your, your tutorial, you click can view and comment. Now, if students are working together on a project, they would obviously want to do can edit and comment, share it with each other so then they can create a collaborative experience. The last option is the embed. So if you have, for instance, a Google site or some other website tool and you want to embed this directly onto a page, for instance, you can actually embed that all in one spot as well. All right, last thing I'd like to show you guys is if you are doing a whole class presentation, for instance, or you're doing a virtual lesson and you're presenting through Zoom or Google Meet. Um, if you click the present, what it will do is it will guide the students all the way through the information in more of a full screen format. You just click on that button to the bottom right. 
um, it'll go through more of like a presentation style. So as opposed to scrolling through a website, it'll go through each one of these modules and questions. Um, as you can see, it's got a pretty slick look to it, really simple to navigate and use, and most of the embedded functions that are in here have um, full screen options as you go through. Uh, so for instance, if I clicked on this statistic, then it will bring me out to the actual website. Um, if I have a video embedded in here, it will play right within the platform. And then the other thing you can do is on the left side here, um, all the different headings that you make turn into a table of contents. So if you have a pretty big lesson with a lot of sections, you can easily navigate that on the left side. Another helpful resource for teachers is that if you're interested in exploring this idea and seeing what teachers in different grade levels and subject areas have been creating and some tips on how to implement it in your classroom, they've created Sutori resources or guiding packs. You can see some examples here. They have Sutori for elementary teachers, for ELA, social studies, art and music, and they even have some example activities in units. So if you want to just take a look at one of these, see how their design gets some inspiration, even make a copy and use some of these with your students, uh, feel free to check out that resource page to get there you would just go to Sutori click on the resources tab up at the top right and then you have some options there they also have an editors picks which are a few curated examples that um, you can take a look at that are created mostly by teachers around the world that have been vetted by the developers at Sutori to sum things up, Sutori is a versatile platform for teachers to create and design interactive lessons that embed content from various educational platforms and tools. It's also a great tool for students to develop their own digital content and to collaborate with each other on things like projects, informative assessments, or even project-based learning units that they can build over time. So I highly suggest checking it out. Remember that there is a discount code in the description, so if you wanted to use that, you get a percentage off of the unlimited if you decide to keep that after the month. Also, if you found this video helpful, please click that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification icon. You'll get all of the updated EdTech tutorials as they come out. If you're interested in working with EdTech Teacher directly, we offer a variety of PD offerings from its online virtual modules to on-site uh, professional development workshops to innovation uh, events that we have hosted at sites around the country. So feel free to reach out to myself or anyone else on the team at EdTech Teacher. Check out some of the suggested videos that appear on the screen now, and best of luck with your teaching.